my people, Ford Transit, Mark 7, this is a 2007 model, how to replace the master brake master cylinder, it's, it is literally only two bolts diagonally, one this side, one the other side, and the two brake pipes, and this one is the clutch pedal, this is the clutch fluid, so if you start to lose your clutch it's because the fluid's gone down um, you so you might have a leak on one of the brakes but anyway this is all the, i'll show you how to change this uh you don't need to touch the servo pipe um i had to have a new pipe on mine but uh, i'll show you how to do those That's tight. It's just the newness of it. with another extension bar. Ah, he's coming. I'm just going to get some WD. Keep moving the lever on the ratchet. All right, it's coming to the end. I'm not taking any more altogether at the moment. I'll uh, see if I can get this one down here. I'm done that enough. No, I haven't, have I? Not yet. No, 
now I have. And that one's enough. I'll get your stuff. I don't know whether you can see it or not. That one's loose. That one's loose. I've already cracked these. Right. Um, I've got to try them. I said you've got to slide those out and press that down to pull them out. Sometimes. the uh, the wire for the, the wire for the level right now I have to try and siphon some of that out because I got a little bit too much in there well I haven't got too much in there it's about the right um, I don't know which way to take it take a cylinder off a bleed nipple and pump it through or what do I do right right it was just a fact of taking the two brake pipes front and rear lines off taking the clutch off which is just a rubber pipe they're gravity fed anyway and the light switch the the, the yeah low low sensor uh, fluid level uh, and taking the two bolts off that was as easy as that and it came off and we got it there right. and, and unless you strip it down which I wouldn't recommend trying to repair it um, because there you got our specialized tools anyway um, so I got it out and now is all I got to do is just wait for the other one to arrive I've got to go and pick it up, but they're going to phone me when it's ready, when they've had it delivered. Right, right. I've just come back from fetching the uh, cylinder. It's a lot of money just for that little tiny thing, and uh, uh, but now I've got the job of taking the reservoir off, um, and that's it, and fitting it back on there. They screw on from there, which holds them there, and if I pull him off let's have a look what size he is he's the e7 he's a torque bit e7 so uh yeah e7 right so i had to get my uh, rack of uh, torque bits out um i don't know what they well those are the males these are the females so only trouble is i'm having difficulty finding I, I found that one right to be able to go to that bit or that one which is a little bit and I can't find the piece to plug him in no he's missing look he's missing off there uh, to be able to plug it into uh, a 3 8 drive I only got a 3 8 and that's a quarter drive they mixed them on there they're, they're from from E8 down um, they're Three eighths drives and that, those uh, half quarter drives and those are all three eighths drives. So I've a, had a codge together, an apparatus to be able to do it. So, right, yeah, you got to undo that. Right, got that out of there. Comes out of there, and, uh, and then it goes back into that one once I put the reservoir on it. It is a bloody tight fit and it's a very very fine thread. So. And is what you've got to remember is to take the little red caps out. So I've had a cylinder in the past that somebody said they couldn't get to work. That was a brake cylinder, and uh, they'd screwed they'd screwed it into the red cap, it totally blocked. So anyway, that's how you get that one out of there. What did I say it was the T7? T7 torque bit. Right off camera, I took that in and I gave it a wash out. Um, there you go. That's in there. That's nice and tight. In the end, I had to get out the old school stuff and get a quarter, 
quarter inch ratchet uh, you know and that's how I did it did it like that so that one's in there and basically uh, the two uh, things I took out I've put in there for now to try and stop it leaking uh, and there is absolutely nothing else I've got to change that's it so I can go there I'll pull those two out of there I'll pull those two out uh, if I can get them out there you go one in to that one one in there let's see if I can yeah got him put him in there and hopefully that'll stop that leaking anymore there's always fluid stuck inside them so now I can fit that and it's still wet I've got water all over it now never mind I blew it out with the airline so but as you can see look at the black shit I got out of it you know that's all in your brake lines makes you wonder how it ever gets back up to the reservoir it should never get back to the reservoir in theory so well, I'll clear this mess up before I start fitting it I'm having difficulty getting the camera into positions where I don't don't forget to remove that that's just a protective sleeve uh, put that in the toolbox right and I've taken the uh, red ca red caps out of the brake cylinders you've got to get it lined up in the center of the servo right at the same time as trying to get those pipes just inside the holes oh, I got that one. There. Right. get those somewhere near in the holes as though there you go they're in there roughly push him on right and then you move the pipes around until you get a decent fit there I got him somewhere near got that one in there somewhere near I could tell they're started right the nut I my, I'm all fingers and thumbs look there I gotta try and get that nut back onto the servo got him on there look nice and loose That one's, yeah, that one went on there lovely, easy. And it's as simple as that. And that one is the clutch. I'll put that back on there when I've got fluid to put back in there. Um, it's on the step, <laughs> uh, van step. So, uh, uh, that's all I can see at the moment. All right, let's see if I can get that one in there better. Yeah, he's going in there. Just give it a wriggle and move it around until it goes easy. There, that went in there. My other hand's in the way. There you go. That's the first time I'll be able to see the camera and my hand. There you go. I've done that up hand tight. That one, I think he's going in. They should go in there as easy as they came out. Yeah, it's threaded in there. They're both, th both the, uh, um, brake pipes are 13 mil, and the two nuts that hold it to the servo are 13 mil. Half inch in old money. There, that's done. That my fingerprints all over it again. There. Right now, I'll just get the socket out and. Uh, do what they call retighten. One thing to remember not to do, like I'm doing it without gloves, right? But whatever you do, if you're not using gloves, don't touch the paintwork because brake fluid is uh, a solvent and it will dissolve your paint. It'll leave fingerprints and everything.
go. It's gone snug. Now the other one. And you have a longer extension bar. Well, I'm, I'm using a deep, deep reach sockets. Right, there you go. That's tightened. I've tightened that one down as dare as far as I dare go. Now I can't support it. There you go. Snug goes down nice and tight. 13 mil spanner to do these up. And I found, yeah, you gotta rely on the crank. You gotta go half turn that way, turn the spanner around and go back down to the bottom. There you go. That's that one tightened. Same with this one. Just gotta get him on that little bit. One, turn him over. Tight already, or is it? Oh, I'm up against that nut. I'm gonna have to go from underneath him if I can get my hand around the corner. That's the only trouble is when you're old, you ain't as flexible. That's got him, I think. Mm, yep, so as tight as I dared go with it, <coughs> and there. Basically, that's done. And uh, because I have to put new brake pads in the back, um, I'm going to use the computer to bleed the brakes again. I'm gonna bleed all four and uh, the clutch, uh, purely because I just don't want that asshole again of pumping the fluid back up into the reservoir. Oh, I dropped the camera. Now. To bugger that up. So, there, get that in as close as I dare. That's all done there. I can put, you can see I've cleaned inside. Um, that's it, filling back up with fluid. And uh, I'll start on the back. I gotta get the trolley jack out. But I doubt if I'm gonna do it now because it's bloody raining again. Right, it says to connect it up to the pressure system. I got my bottle down there full of fluid. I got my reservoir topped up. And I'm just about to pressurise it, and I pressurise it by putting putting it on the wheel. So now we come back, attach bleed bottle nipple to the both front left and right bleed nipples. Open both front and right bleed nipple screws. Right, so that's what I gotta do now. I'll come right. back to that. Stop the bus, stop the bus, I wanna get off. Um the bloody microphone on the laptop failed to work, so I'm having to do a voiceover now. I'm just showing you here how it's how the system's loading up. It's running through a scan check and this is like like a, an OBD port reader and it'll tell you give you all the errors of the codes it'll even tell you the codes yes uh, a hand scanner uh normal one will tell you what's wrong but it won't tell you how to put it right and uh, this program is worth the little extra to plug it into your laptop there's all the codes i've got gone wrong all because of this abs uh big all, all because of this uh, master cylinder um you can write it, you can clear them, you can even write to the ECU, you can change the fuel injector. Oh, this, this program is incredible. Um, those, those are the only essential codes and it's, it's saying that there's none. Um, this is going into, right, there's two bleed systems, right? My van is the one with the ESP, traction control and tra traction stability uh, 
tracks yeah well that one uh, and uh, there's also a standard brake system uh with just abs the other one has got the traction control i have to use the traction control eps not the one that i'm hovering on now um that's the one so this system will let you do several different types of bleed systems um it'll ask you when i eventually click on it it'll ask you what i want to why am i bleeding the system right whether i've changed calipers fluid whether i just want to change the fluid um, or the abs module and uh, it'll go through that system right i'm gonna hand back over to this idiot now that's using a camera <laughs> That's the ABS pump pumping around. Now he's telling me I got a flat battery. <laughs> Close both off. Okay. Right, they're both closed off. Uh, and left and right again. Right, I will do that now. Right, now I can press OK. Here we go. That is the ABS pump working. I'm just waiting for the blue line across the bottom. Please wait 30 seconds, it says. I'll have no bloody fluid left. Close both the rear screws. Right, I'll go back and do that. Right, they're done back up. I'm hoping if I can find my mouse. There's down there, there it is. So I'm doing it outside. As you can see, there's such a lot of reflection on the screen. Uh, executing service procedure. So I don't know what it's doing now. I haven't got a clue. 35%. It's most probably rewriting to the ECU to say that the brakes have just been done. And handy little thing that was. It keeps coming up and saying that there's, um, uh, a counterfeit chip in it to expect for that price off eBay. Right, it says ready at the bottom. So that basically is it. And now in theory, I should, this all come up okay there. I should have brakes. So I'll, Turn it off, turn it back on, and I'll start it with no throttle. All right, now I should have brakes. Yep, look at that. And it's not going down like it was before. Yep, I love that. Love that program. It has saved such a lot of hassle. Right, hope that helps everybody. I can put it all back together now, pick up all the pipes, all the hoses, put my tools away and go back to bed. <laughs> what time is it? One o'clock. I'm bloody hungry, that's why I wonder why my tummy was grumbling. Right, I hope that helps everybody now that uh, I've just changed the master cylinder. It's not far off the same one for uh, caliper change. Um, so I tried bleeding it again using the uh, foot brake and pump on, off, on, on, and that does not work. It fetches a little bit out, 
but not enough right so the what better than the abs pump because that is the system it's because it is all computer controlled so i can disconnect this now and i can uh, now disconnect everything i know with all the bottles down there <laughs> uh, check the reservoir yeah she's full fetch that up release the air pressure there you go that's all released now uh, it is just a matter of putting everything away can I get it to stay there now there you go stay boy right big cheers then everybody that'll do me